ExxonMobil is really a leading supplier of polyethylene and polypropylene resins. What we bring to this collaboration is the ability to make products that allow things to be more easily recyclable. Our customer, who we put at the center, has made it abundantly clear to us sustainability is in the forefront of their decision making on shelf. And one of the things that they look at in particular is the reusability and recyclability of that packaging. These materials use multiple layers, often very, very thin, and different types of materials. They are more difficult to collect, to sort, and to recycle than heavier things such as rigid packaging. Traditional recycling, we typically referring to what we call mechanical recycling. That's simply taking a plastic article, chopping it up, reconstituting it back into pellets, but it does have big drawbacks. The current infrastructure is not designed to handle all plastics. Our mission is to increase the recyclability and recycling rates of plastic from 10% to 90%. In order to do that, you need to capture the plastic that's going to the landfill. What's really unique about advanced recycling is ExxonMobil's Extend technology allows us to take that plastic waste, break it down into the building blocks that can be used across many applications. The plastics that are going to the landfill today are difficult to recycle mechanically, can now be recycled. Then Sealed Air, who's a leader in food packaging, takes those plastic resins that we provide and makes new food packaging. Sealed Air made a sustainability pledge that by 2025, 100% of our solutions would be designed for recyclability or reusability. So advanced recycling enables and allows the materials to meet the stringent quality and safety requirements that food packaging falls under. Then we sell that packaging to our customers who then use it to package the food that ends up in grocery stores. For us, we serve the entry point for consumers as they bring back their plastic materials such as front-end plastic bags, bread bags, and even dry cleaning bags. That then is combined with our plastic material from our distribution centers where we can then aggregate that and ship it off to Exxon and their partners. The goal of Cyclix is to bring new innovations to aggregating, processing, and characterizing waste plastic streams. We are creating a network of Cyclix circularity centers. These will be centers that can receive all plastics, films, foams, as well as rigids, and create feedstocks for mechanical as well as advanced recycling technologies. So what we're doing is bridging the waste industry with the chemical industry. In order to affect true change, we believe that you need participation of the whole value chain of plastics. And that's what this collaboration represents. By bringing together a retailer, a leading packaging converter, and a materials producer, we were able to show that hard to recycle materials can be collected, they can be recycled, We also want to learn how can we scale this as quickly as possible and what are the, the challenges and roadblocks that we need to overcome. Baytown will be our first commercial plant. You know, we've set an ambitious goal in five years to be at 500,000 tons, and we think there's more growth beyond that. ExxonMobil, by being a pioneer in this area, they set the stage for others to step up and follow their lead. We're creating a circular value chain for plastics that will be a model for others to follow. So we can take a significant stride along that curve from 10 to 90%. What I'm really looking forward to is more collaborations across the entire value chain so we can continue to grow advanced recycling in the marketplace.